So being a female owner of a race team, first off, just, be, just owning a race team is phenomenal. I have no idea what it takes to, I just got goosebumps. Look at that, thinking of that. What, what it takes to be that. But, you know, tell us, what, what's, what's it like being the female owner of a race team? Well, it's, you know, it's definitely breaking barriers because yeah. I happen to be racing at the top level of motor racing. And so, you know, I, I have a large team and that means lots of people that work at the team. I have the top female racers from around the globe. And, you know, I'm basically trying to find my way to compete against the biggest owners in racing. And it's not easy because there's a real, um, I guess, brotherhood in racing. And so it really is kind of trying to break up pit lane a little bit and bring a lot of diversity and um, and, but there's a lot of moving parts. It's exciting. Uh, I brought the first women's team to the 2019 um, sports car series, the highest sports car race in the land. And we were the first team of women to compete in that series for the championship in 50 years. So it was Amazing. quite an accomplishment. And next year, we're competing in the same sports car um, championship, but we're also going to compete in the Indy 500. So yes, that will be exciting as well.